Hello, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. I am a researcher and I have two lovely children I made during my PhD studies. In this episode, I'm going to talk from my personal experience as a researcher and a mother. But first, I would like to point out some facts about women and being a mother. We women have a shorter window of being fertile comparing to men. But this should not scare you when you make the decision to be a mom. This should not let you rush for being a mom without being fully ready for it, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Being a mom takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, and wants a lot of focus and attention to raise a happy child. So it's very important if you are a mom or if you became a mom that does not kill your dream. You are still a dreamer and you can make all things you are planning for. Even if you are a mom and you are very busy with taking and raising children, that should not stop you from being a good researcher and pursuing your studies. However, when you decided to become a mother, you should accept all the consequences of being a mother, including the time that you allocate for the development of your research career. Believe me, you are strong enough to stand for all the barriers, for all difficulties, the challenges to achieve a unique, successful research career development. You just need to focus on yourself and your main goal and priorities in every step in your life while you are in a healthy environment taking care of your children. Another important fact, what makes most of women can achieve a lot is being a good planner. Being a mom itself is a demanding career. Being a mom is a full job that is demanding from you a lot of energy, including physical and mental. So if you want to develop your research while you are a mother, or if you want to be a mother and taking care of a child while you are developing your research career, the key success is to be a good planner for your time. I would like to mention another point. Sincerely, I would like to tell you, if you are trying to conceive to be a mom while you are doing your graduate studies and building your research career, and your plans of conceiving does not match what you are hoping for, please don't let that make you feel full apart. I sincerely understand how that make people, even if you are not a researcher, even if you do not have any other job else except focusing on being a mom, that the feeling of trying to conceive multiple cycles, it makes you under high stress. My recommendation to you in this scenario, do not push yourself too hard to conceive and feel too sad to the breast if you cannot make it from the first time, the second time, the third trial. It takes time. Just trust at your body and plan accordingly. If it doesn't work this time, this cycle, another cycle, it's fine. It will happen through time. Just trust at your body and trust at your abilities to be a good scientific researcher. At the same time, you will be a mother and you will have the child of your own and you will grow your child happily. The last fact I would like to talk about it today before going ahead with my advices to every mom or every woman want to be a mom while they are developing their research career, how they can manage the time and manage the challenging experience during their graduate studies and research career development. I am going to tell you from my own experience, being a mom while you are doing your graduate school is not easy. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you have to be ready for this challenging time. Don't quit by having your child. You can have a maternity leave, you can pause a little bit your studies, but don't give up your research career development or any of your dreams because you just have a child and you felt in a moment overwhelmed with all these hormonal changes and being stressed to manage time and taking care of a child that make you give up your career. It's okay, you can pause, you can wait a little bit until you overcome the challenging time and adopt having a child. You need the time for adjustment, take it, but don't give up. Yes, the fact, it will not be easy, 
but also it will be very joyful at the very end and you will find yourself you had the graph of it your nature as a a hard working person committed to their own task being on time it will be back soon because you need just the time to adjust for it and when you adjust for it you will enjoy it and you will know when you wake up when you dress your child when you help yourself when you feed yourself when you feed your child when you go to work you can have this plan and even you learn how to say sorry i cannot do it i have to take care of my child this is very important part so my fact is saying that it will not be easy but it will not be impossible and you need the time to adjust for it before we go any ahead in this episode i would like to tell you that i'm a woman who chose to get married and have children of my own two children during my phd studies and this was the best thing i have done in my life during my phd i'm very proud of my phd experience but i'm prouder because i am a mom of two happy children and they are so lovely my life with them is really special i was the only mom in my lab during my phd studies and most of the students i have met during the graduate school were not a mother or even if they became a mom they already became a mom before they started their studies and their children were old enough to take care of themselves like to feed themselves to go to the washroom by themselves to wash hand by themselves shower themselves or they have a supportive family but for me i was completely living in a foreign country does not speak my mother tongue i have no family here near me to support me to take care to cook for me i was totally alone but i had a lot of nice friends supportive lab members understanding phd supervisor and i made it although it was very difficult i felt in a moment it will never end but i'm here i have my phd so i would like to make this episode to introduce a set of recommendations to help you to maximize your time to gain a fruitful experience during your graduate school and research career development my number one recommendation have a faith that you are strong and you absolutely can make it all the way to the end have a faith that you just need time and everyone needs time to achieve their goals make it day by day you need to figure out your new life settings how they look like and you need to reset yourself to figure out what is the required time for every single daily task that you have to do and adjust your plans accordingly you can start by maintaining your daily routines to go through it my recommendation number 2 do not lose your faith Do not lose your faith and trust at yourself. I know very well it is a bumpy rocky road and you can make it through safely and successfully. My recommendation number 3. This recommendation is highly highlighted. Please listen. I will say it and provide more details for it. Be consistent. Be consistent in planning your time. for the required amount of research work every day every week and so on be consistent even when you have too much on your plate to deal with be consistent in keeping the work going on and make even if a small small progression because for example you have to stay at home to take care of your sick child for a couple of days be consistent to read and write every day possible be consistent in attending meetings seminars conferences and participate be consistent to attend lab meetings journal clubs seminars conferences and everything that will help you to support and develop your career to gain the best research experience and learn as much as possible during the time while you are doing your grad school and developing your research career be consistent in being so insisting on proceeding along the long bumpy rocky road to fulfill the research project and program requirements my recommendation number 4 remain ambitious and passionate about your dreams you decided to go through this for the preparations of yourself for a scientific research career 
and doing it while motherly taking care of your children which means that this will take a lot from you to make your dreams true you may feel burnt out and you still have too much on your own to take care you may have innumerous days of being sleep deprived you might already came to a point feeling collapsed not only overwhelmed you almost going to give up thinking for long to go and talk with your PI and your department to quit the program and this is the only thing roaming inside you to go for it but believe me on this it will ease sooner being a dreamer about becoming a good researcher made you to start this journey or will make you start this journey and being a mother does not mean to give up your dreams in any scenario when someone is going to achieve their dreams and they establish the road for that that means a thunderstorm is coming on their way sooner than later but that means also after the thunderstorm the sunshine will come so don't get terrified just because the thunderstorm came and surrounded you with a heavy rain just be prepared to shield yourself to protect yourself all the way until the storm stop and remember at the end of every storm the bright sunshine will lighten your soul just be patient and prepared and keep the hard work my recommendation number 5 it is about money you need to make sure you use your money properly have a solid financial management spare the money especially when you are on the terms that you are near graduation or the end of your program or contract because you will need a lot of money to take care of yourself and your children in the time that you are adjusting your financial situation from the end of your program or contract or funding to get successfully and comfortably to the next financial resource on your plan because you will need this money post of the completion of your degree your current contract or the end of your funding until you stabilize yourself financially and be having another financial resource plan the living expenses smartly you want to be a happy mother capable of taking care of her own children my recommendation number six if you want to nail it you need to concern on the basics of living and working meaning you need to eat properly and healthy food daily feed yourself and your children with the right food options and on the right time you need to drink enough water and also make your children hydrated you need to have enough quality sleep if you cannot sleep every day enough try to make up your sleeping during the weekend at least exercising it is very ignored life basic among researchers especially young researchers you need to work out if it's not every single day at least three times a week you need to give the time the basic time to take care of preparing your children dropping them off and picking them up from their schools or the caregiving houses like a daycare during your working hours on time don't be late on your children don't destroy their routine since this young age you need to make sure this basic need is done properly one of the very important basics of work that to go to work every day every working day while you are a researcher on a full working contract have the time slot of your family have the time slots daily allocated for the family time and only family time my recommendation number seven it may look silly to highlight this recommendation but i believe it's very essential i believe it deserves to say it it is about the daily basic transportation to drop off and pick up your children and to go to your work this its own takes a lot of time and energy from you every single day plus the money you spend on it so you need to plan it well 
My recommendation number eight, surround yourself with a positive circle. Have the best positive energy around you every day that is made of good friends and supportive family members, if possible. Have a consistent mental health support and resources to reach when you need them. Research career drains a lot of us, drag from us a lot of energy, and may put us even inside a negative energy for whatever reason that coming with overwhelming with long working hours, having some troubles during working with different people and different materials experiments. You are constantly thinking. Your brain is burnt. Your brain is busy with having all these thinking and analysis. Research career requires from you a lot of brain work, which makes you not sometimes even feeling how dragging from you. You work your brain faculties to achieve your daily research tasks. And on top of that, being a mother for young children especially, drains you with making thousands of tasks and making decisions daily. All your body part working for helping your children and making them safe and happy every day. Then you may just find yourself in a corner looking around and all the roads you see look like cul-de-sac blind end roads. It may look like everything going to be impossible, but believe me, it will ease sooner than later. Just be consistent, be aware of yourself, try to understand yourself as a mother while you are developing your research career and what is required and make the balance. Believe me, it will really ease sooner if you keep working hardly consistent. Before the end of this episode, I would like to tell you, dear mama, you are gorgeous. You are fabulous. You are fascinating. Even if I don't know you personally, dear, you are a mother, then you are a superhero. You got the ambition. You got the personality. You got the stamina. And I want to tell you that I genuinely respect you. Here I came to the end, hoping it will be beneficial for you, dear researcher mama. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family. Please subscribe to my channel, it will help me. Thank you for watching and take care.